After yesterday's win, the Panthers are 2-1. and one. But the typical bustle of Monday's meetings and treatments is missing. It's an early bye week in Charlotte. The earliest it gets in the NFL. And the break in the schedule gives players a chance to go home. In half a mile, turn left on North Carolina 71. Wherever home is. Like little communities like this with the whole family on one street with houses next to one another. You know, it, it reminds me of home. And, you know, as a child in Bailey growing up, this whole eastern part of the state, it all looked the same too. From Bailey, North Carolina, he's the most decorated University of North Carolina athlete since Michael Jordan. Please welcome Julius Peppers. Most athletes can't compete with a legend like Michael Jordan, but Julius Peppers is an exception. For three years at the University of North Carolina, he was college football's premier defensive end. His athleticism was boundless, earning him the same basketball uniform Jordan once wore. And with the second overall pick in the 2002 draft, the boy from Bailey became a son of Charlotte. In just his second year, he helped Carolina reach its first Super Bowl. He's been trying to get back ever since. What a valiant effort by the Carolina Panthers. They did everything but win this game. His sack total ranks fourth in NFL history and spans a career that's taken him away from Carolina only to bring him back. Prior to his 17th season, Peppers considered retirement, but returned for what he hopes will be another Super Bowl run. Along the way, he'll help his home state any way he can. Recovery efforts are underway in North and South Carolina in the aftermath of Hurricane Florence. Thousands are still living in shelters. As the water slowly recede, food and water are being distributed as the long recovery process begins. I'm from a small town, a um, couple hours away. That's why I wanted to come out. That's why it was important for me to come down and see this stuff with my own eyes. So this is your boys' room. Yeah, this here is the boys' room. Just being here is important. Not only just to serve and to help out and give money and those type of things. It's just being here and just offering support and giving these people hope. Um. I flooded Sunday, and then I flooded Tuesday. Like, it's just been a nightmare. And now I can't go in the home because of asbestos, so I don't know what's going to happen. So what, what do you do, man? What do you do when you go through something like this? And this is all you got? Yep. The house is all she got, and it's devastated. Being a native of the Carolinas and seeing the reality of these people affected by the hurricane um, made me want to do something to help. I started the Julius Peppers Fund at the Foundation for the Carolinas and gave $100,000 to kick it off. If you want to give, you can go to Panthers.com or Foundations for the Carolinas to donate. Thank you. That was the one. Yeah. Can you agree? Yeah, that was it. Yeah.